Good morning guys. I just thought I'd hop on here and do my makeup with you this morning. Um, I don't have anywhere fancy to be. Um, what's new? I don't really ever have anywhere fancy to be, but today nowhere particularly that I'm going, but I just thought um, I've been getting a lot of questions about what makeup I'm using, so I thought this might be helpful um, about foundation, and I have everything that I'm using in this little, uh, this, this is from Space and K, this little, this little makeup bag. So let's get started. Gotta um, put the hair back and yeah. And I thought we'd also chit chat, catch up cause I haven't, I haven't been on the Instagram. Ooh, I look kind of like an alien, don't I? Um, and I thought I would put this up on the IGTV, and I don't know if anybody actually watches the IGTV, but I thought I'd give it a whirl. And um, let's start with primer. This is the Smashbox Primerizer, and I just put this on. It just makes your makeup go, go on a little bit better because I put my moisturizer on quite a long time ago, and this just makes everything go on a little bit better. If your face is not dry and moisturized appropriately. And then I also have some new products that I've been using. So I wanted to share those as well. I've been using this Tatcha, the silk canvas, and it's just, um, it's like a pore filler and it makes, uh, your makeup stay on a little longer. And I just put it here cause you don't want to make it, um, you just kind of want to put it in your T zone because I think if you put on too much, it could it could make your face dry. And um, I have noticed that it makes my makeup stay on a little longer. So take that for what it is. But um, I actually bought this in a set. It came with um, this, a cleanser, and then their water cream, and their products are so good, y'all. They're they're um, they're all clean products. So those of you who enjoy the clean products, this is a good one um, to try if you're looking for something to help your makeup stay on a little longer. All right, next for the foundation. This is what I've been using recently. This is the It Cosmetics CC Cream, and you can see that it is well-loved. Um, I am using the shade medium, but I think I'm gonna switch to light medium pretty soon. And this is a pretty full coverage foundation. And I just do one pump on the back of my hand like that. And then I use a brush. I also use my Beauty Wonder, but we'll use the brush today. And I find that this stuff gives pretty good coverage. And I used to not be able to use it because I, it, my face was too oily. And it would just, my face was like eating up the foundation and it was gone. I was an oily, hot mess. And nobody wanted that. So I would, I, I used to use, um, I've used other foundations, like I've used the Clinique um, uh, foundation with salicylic acid in it, and those those are better if you have oilier skin type. But this one is doing me right these days. My my face is a little drier and a little bit more wrinkly, and um, and it just gives a nice dewy finish. Now this also comes in a matte version and it's new and you can only get it at Sephora and I've gotten a sample of it and I will say it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So um, you, gotta, you gotta do you, you gotta figure out what kind of foundation works for your skin type. And I'd say most people in my co cohort, um, ladies of a certain age, you know, late 30s ladies or older, that this foundation, I'm using another pump, um, is probably better for you than uh, the matte version. Now, if you're a little younger and you still get, um, you know, some hormonal acne and you're kind of oily, or maybe you live in a like hotter climate like Texas, uh, I, I would try that matte one, you know? Um, I think as it's getting into the colder months, that this, this foundation, will do most people right yeah 
So you can see, yeah, it's giving me some pretty good coverage. I'm uh, getting rid of my, my hyperpigmentation. I'm digging it, yeah. So yeah, this is, this is what this foundation looks like on me. You can see, I still have a little bit of, you know, but we're not gonna work miracles, people. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys are doing well today. Um, I've had a couple of things on my mind that I want to share. First thing is we have some elections coming up and I am not about to get political on here at all, but I think it is super important for everyone to vote. So if you are not registered to vote, do it. And then go out and vote because your vote matters, like especially now. Um, our country is so divided and every little vote counts. Oh, this is a new concealer as well. This is the Too Faced, I'm not even showing you right, the Born This Way concealer in golden beige. And I, I'm digging it. Um, I think I forgot, well, I have my beauty blender over there. Normally I would put this on with a beauty blender. So I just kind of do it under my eyes here. I do it up where I have the pigmentation. And then I do it under my nose. Because there's it gets shadowy under your nose, so don't forget about that. And then I do a little bit on my chin and I see how that goes. I kind of want to use a beauty blender for this, although you could use a brush. Um, there's my beauty blender. So yeah. Go out and vote and make sure you register and get uh, acquainted on your ca candidates because this election is important. Um, I think people forget about the elections that are in between that are not presidential elections. Um, but yeah, and that is all. I will not say anything else about political stuff because that is just, we get way too much of that in the media. Um, let's see, what else is going on? I um, have some news coming up that I will share soon, I promise, and it's exciting stuff, and I'm sure that most of you can probably guess what it is, because you know me, and I'm just going to kind of blend all that in, maybe we need a tad bit more. What do you think? What do you think? I think we need a little bit more right here. So I have pigmentation right here and it makes it look like I have huge eye bags. It is no fun, but I have just kind of, I'm sorry it's so shadowy here. So the sun is going in and out. There are way worse problems to have and I think I should just be glad that I do not have, I, I think I'd rather have this than acne. I don't know. So there is that. Okay, now for the fun, fun part. I have a new palette and this is called the Emily Edit. And one of, she is one of my, Emily is one of my favorite YouTubers. And when she came out with this palette, I was like, yes, I am definitely getting this because it's one of these all in one palettes. You can kind of see that it has a highlight, blush, bronzer, powder, and then some eyeshadow shades. And it's all in one and it has this huge mirror that I just got, ooh, yucky fingerprints on. But um, yeah, isn't that fun? And I can just put it in my bag and I have everything there. So let's start by using this powder. It's called Kindness. How fun is that? And I'm just gonna use this brush for everything. And you wanna set your, your foundation. If, um, even if you're dry, I think, find a nice hydrating powder because it will just make your, it will just make your foundation stay longer um and maybe just do it down your t-zone you don't have to get it in all the crepey wrinkly parts yucky 
All right, so that's good for that powder. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Um, now let's do some bronzer, and this one's called Courage. It's this one right there. And I think this, this palette is super affordable, so I just go, I find like your cheekbone right here and then just go right up underneath it. And this just kind of warms up your face, gives it some dimension, so you don't look like a ghost. But yeah, so Emily is one of my very favorite YouTubers. She is one of the first ones I started watching. Um, so when Cece was born, when she was a little, little baby, I started to feel so isolated because she was taking like three naps a day and I was in, in, the, in the house, you know? I mean, I wasn't around people. I was used to being around people all the time. She, and so I was inside and I was like, what can I do with myself? I need to be around people. But she's taking all these naps. So I started watching YouTube and I started with, ooh, we'll fix it. Um, I started with these beauty YouTubers because I started to get into playing with makeup, which is another thing that you can just do any, I do it under my chin, get rid of your double chin, um, is one of those things you can, um, do anytime you can play with it and it, it lets you be creative and that's why I've gotten so into it and you always have your face and getting a palette is like one of the easiest things ever and you can be super creative with the way you do your eyeshadow. Um, so I'm just blending it out. Um, you don't wanna to have too much of a line here. But yeah, you can just see the way it warmed up my face. So I like that color. It, you have to find a bronzer color that matches your skin tone. You don't want to get anything too dark or too light. And this one seems good for me. So then I'll just go into the blush right now. Um, and I should have used, I'm going to use a different cream high, highlighter. And I should have used that first, but we'll just go with it because it's, is it'll work. And then for your blush, you want to smile and just do it on the apples of your cheeks. Like that. And you don't want to shock everybody with your wrinkles, so you don't do it too much. Um, but yeah, so I started watching a, a bunch of YouTubers, and I still do, and I, I really, really enjoy it. Um, it's something I do while I, I um, you know, will load the dishwasher or I'm cooking um, at night because the kids tend to dominate the television so i i don't really you know i watch things on my computer and it's something quick you know that you can do um in like 10 minutes a lot of youtube videos are really short and if you guys are interested in that then i can give you um some of the people that i follow and i really enjoy uh, but emily is one of she's so genuine and you can just tell that the, the reviews that she's giving you are 100% genuine and that you're not getting a lot of crap with her because sometimes people put up a lot of like sponsored stuff and you're just not sure, okay, does this person actually like this product or are they just being paid to say this, you know? Um, so you can just tell with her that it's all real. So, yeah, um, now it may look like, I don't know, that I have on a lot. And maybe I do, let's see. But here's the thing. If you put on a little more in the beginning of the day, it's probably gonna go off, you know, by the end of the day, because your, your face kind of absorbs the makeup. So if you go a little bit more heavy handed, you're usually okay. So there we go, there's that. Now my eyebrows are bothering me right now, so let's get into the eyebrows and then we'll go back to some other stuff. And I have been using, what have I been using? I have been using the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which is always what I use, and 
this is it and it's a lot thinner than it used to be it's in soft brown that's my color and i like it because it has this spoolie on the end of it so brush through your bows first and then get to get to filling them in guys if you're not doing your brows you can see right now the power of brows because look look at my face look at how like kind of oh i look kind of sad and tired and then once i do my brows y'all gonna be like oh my god girlfriend you looking good you looking a lot better so anyway all right what else so we talked about emily and you guys are gonna buy this palette which is only like i think it's like 15 to 20 dollars that's the emily edit and then she has another one and it's at Ulta. The Emily Edit, and it's at Ulta. Um, and she has another one that I also bought, but I didn't bring it up here to show you guys. But um, I will if you're interested. And it is this really big palette of all different eye eyeshadow shades. So if you're like me and you love playing around with eyeshadow, this palette is so good and it's not expensive and they the colors are pretty good they're pretty pigmented um some of the colors i probably will never use but it's fun to have them just in case you do and it's not super expensive um so look it's already a lot better huh i think i need more though um yeah so that that is a great option if you are getting into makeup because it's not an expensive palette but i do tend to gravitate towards the more uh, neutral shades uh like these you know like right this one right here that's my jam and that's the pro probably the one i'll use today so look at the difference between my eyebrows it's like it just frames your face you know um so just keep using your spoolie and then just keep Keep drawing them in. You're just creating little hairs. And yeah, it's kind of a time consuming thing, but totally worth it in the end. Okay, what else? What else is going on in the Martin Miller household? Emery is still looking for jobs. He has not found one yet but um, he has actually turned some down and that has been super, super hard for him because he hate, he's a people pleaser and he hates letting people down. Um, but they just were not the right opportunity and there's a little bit of pressure because this is his first job uh, out of the military. And I don't know if I've explained that fully, but yeah, he's getting out of the military soon, um, like in a couple weeks. And then he has leave saved up, so he has leave until January. So there's no immediate pressure, um, but he's putting a lot of pressure on himself um, to get a job. But anyway, he's he's had some opportunities and they just have not been right. Um, so he's turned them down and he's still looking. And so we'll see, we'll see on that. And I know that it will all work out, but it is definitely a state of limbo. And that is all on that front for now. Um, are you guys decorating for, for Halloween and all that? Have you gotten your kids Halloween costumes? I bought the kids Halloween costumes at Pottery Barn and I know it was expensive, but we got a lot going on right now and there was a sale and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. Um, okay. So let's use the palette again, and I'm gonna use this color right here. It's called Faith, and I'm just gonna do it all over the lids, and I'm gonna use my eyeshadow primer, um, the NARS eyeshadow primer, and I just go, do do do, because this is going to help your eyeshadow stay on. And I just pat it in with the Beauty Blender. And then I will use this brush. Where is it? Let's use this guy. This is a blending brush by MAC. And it is so old. And I don't even know the number, but MAC blending brush. And I'm just going to put this all over my lids. Tap it off. Make sure to tap it off. And go for it. 
and I like doing this. It gives a little definition to the lids. This particular color is, you know, I have a lot of different versions of it. There's a really pretty version of it in my Tarte Maneater palette. So if you like this color, you know, um, I of course buy this palette, but you don't have to buy this palette. It, it's in a lot of different, different palettes. So just go all over the lid and make sure you're blending it in very well. Go up in the crease and what else is going on? Oh, okay. So I let, I just let the kids pick out what they wanted on the Pottery Barn website. And Cece, of course, picked a fairy again, and I said, no, you are not being a fairy again. Because I still have some power. I still have a little bit of power left to where she's not going to be a princess every year. So I was like, why don't you pick something else? So she picked a witch, which is so cute, I think. I, I like it because it's a little, like, acoustic. Like, kids aren't witches anymore. They're always something, like, fancy, like, I don't know. Um, I, I don't even know, like... They're like Sophia the First, or um, I don't even know what the kids are these days, but a witch, isn't that fun? That's like something a little different, but not different. Anyway, um, and then Little Man picked, he's gonna be a dragon. They're both in the scary things right now, which is sort of weird to me, but they, uh, they're they like going around scaring each other. They're like, boo, boo, and I'm like, oh, you're, you're cute. You're cute, because you don't understand what scary is yet. Because they would, if they even saw anything remotely scary, they would just flip their, flip their stuff. All right. So light is kind of, let's see if I can fix the light a little bit. Yeah, you can see a little better now. It's like the face of the sun all of a sudden. There we go. That's a little better, huh? You can kind of see what's going on. Let's take down my hair because I look like a crazy person. All right. So let's take, this is an Eco Tools brush and this is wonderful. It has a, um, like the eyeshadow kind of side on it and then it has like a blending side. So I'm going to take the blending side and I'm going to go in with that same color, Faith, and I'm just going to go under my eyes. Uh, and blend it out. I like I like this look. It's not um, very severe as putting like uh, an eyeliner underneath. Because sometimes, you know, if you put a black eyeliner underneath your um, in the lower lash line, it can really close up your eye. But this gives a little a little definition. Let's put a little bit more on without um, without it being severe, it's a softer look. And especially with the, using a blending brush to do it, you know, you're just, you're not being super precise, people. We don't have enough time to be like doing this every day. This is an everyday makeup look. If I was doing something fancy, which again, people, I don't do anything fancy, but if I wanted to play around with the makeup more and do like a fun, um, you know, lower lash line color with an, probably with an actual pencil. I never do it in black, ever. I just think it closes up my eyes. I have smaller eyes. I mean, if I squint, they're gone. Like the color in my eyes is gone. So I have to really be careful about what I use. And I, so I like, I like this color. It's warm. It feels autumnal. Um, it's a pretty autumnal color, but it's nothing that will really be severe looking or close up my eyes. Um, so now we are missing two things. We are missing mascara and eyeliner. So what I like to do with eyeliner is go in with a marker and then I'm gonna go over it with an eyeshadow just to kind of, again, um, blunt out those severe lines, make it look softer, um, 
and there's a little there's on my eyes there's like this part where it looks kind of like crepey and wrinkly and yucky and it just using the this with some eyeshadow on it kind of smooths that out um so let's do this real quick i just stay close to the lash line and i'm not super precise about it already better um some of you have asked me about what I'm using for bronzer um because I don't use this every day I, I actually love cream products um I love cream products for the face like I love a cream highlighter which I'm about to use and then I like a cream bronzer and I really like the Chanel one I know it's like sort of bougie to like the Chanel one, but it's a nice color. It's a nice color that um, I can just use every day and it's not over the top. It's yucky though. It gets so yucky. I'm getting on the point where I probably need to buy a new one, but um, this, this is what I use almost every day. And you know, after you use it a million times, price is not that bad okay so then I'm gonna go in with one of these darker colors ooh let's be fun and we'll use this this color called passion it's like a shimmery kind of almost purpley shade yeah and we'll just go over the eyeshadow with that to kind of first off to correct any like problems I had with do you see how quick that was it was so quick um any problems I had with the eyeliner because I'm not always that great with eyeliner so this like totally solves your problem and then you had to kind of make it a little darker and then smudge it out a smokier look if you will um Okay. Oh, and I forgot we're doing lips too. So this is gonna be a long little video. If you guys last till the end, you are like my people and I love you. <sighs> but anyway, okay, let's see. Let's do mascara next. And I used the Estee Lauder Little Black Primer and it's not actually a mascara but it's a black primer because I cannot stand wearing a thick mascara all day long. And this one has color and it just gives me a little bit of lift and it's waterproof. So um, waterproof has worked the best for me um, over the years because like I said, my face can go very oily and then my eye, my, my mascara just smudges all over everything and it's a hot mess and who has time to be dealing with that? Not me. So this, this, it's really, I mean, it's really like similar to a mascara, but the beauty of it is if you put this on, then later, if you want like a bolder look, then you can just add on your mascara on top and you've got some really insane lashes. The other thing I've been thinking about trying y'all and I don't, I'd love to hear if anybody's tried these products and like really liked them, but I feel like this is a hot topic around the lady water cooler. I just made that up. I'm here all day folks. Um, is lash, um, serums that make your make your eyelashes grow and I feel like there's a couple of different products people have been talking about and I hear all kinds of mixed reviews I cannot decide I want to try one of them but I cannot decide which one to try and if any of them really work um, because here's the thing people if you are not using mascara 
I don't know what to say. Like you have to start using mascara if you're looking into these, these lash products. Cause that's gonna, I mean, try that first before you spend like however much buying these lash products because your, your mascara is going to make use the primer and then use the mascara and you will see some results. I promise. But anyway, there's, I've heard of rapid lash. I've heard of Latisse. I've heard of, there's the Rodin and Fields one. I saw one recently by, I think it was Avon. Yeah. So like, have you guys tried these? Should I, which one should I try? I really kind of want, I'm like leaning towards trying new lash, but it's expensive. It's like, um, it's like $150. So, but if it, if it works, then good on it and I'll, I'll try it. But I do not want to be spending $150 for something that doesn't work. Um, oh, highlighter. Using the Glossier Halo Scope. And I just use my finger, and I should have done this before, but um, I think it will be okay. And I just kind of go on the high points of my face, just for a little glow. I go down my nose. And if you guys want to know um, about any products that I recommend, just send me a, um, a message or about any of these products if you like. If you missed it, you missed what exactly I'm using. This is in the color quartz. And then I go in here to make your eyebrows seem more lifted. Who wouldn't want that? But I think a creamy product for this, and then I'm gonna do it in the center too. There. Um, the cream product is a little bit more of a natural finish because I feel like when, now you correct me if you, if I'm wrong moms, that highlighter is one of the first things that drops off if you don't have time. Um, I don't ever really have people asking me about highlighters, but I think they're a nice addition if you're going to be doing your makeup. Uh, what else? Lips. Lips are the last thing. And I should have put on, normally I do put on this, but I forgot, um, just to moisturize your lips. But I used to, I like to use a lip pencil, and then I'm going to use this Clinique. Really pretty color. It's a little bit of a darker autumnal color, and the color Shy. And then this is the Makeup Forever Lip Pencil in um, 5C. So let's do that. I think lining your lips um, is even more important than wearing lipstick. And you can kind of overline them to make your lips look bigger. Which I've been asked a couple times. I'm like, Jamie, have you gotten lip injections? I'm like, nope. It's just me overlining my lips. And occasionally my kids hit me in the face and it looks like I got a fat lip so there's that too that's fun but yeah this is like I mean obviously I love this product because there's barely a nub left of it and just find a color that matches your lip color so then you can use it for like any look except I guess red red wouldn't really work but and then this color is so pretty for fall. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed talking with me, chit-chatting with me, and I hope I'm able to upload this video. Um, but yeah, look at how simple all this stuff fits in this little bag. This little bag, I can take it wherever I go. It didn't take me that long. It took me way longer because I was talking to you guys at the same time. And yeah, I hope it made it seem like something you could do at home. And I would love to hear your thoughts. And um, also, if you guys want to know how I did my hair today, I did something a little different, did a little Mary-Kate and Ashley crimp on it and with with curls. So 
let me know if you like that. And um, I really enjoy talking with you guys today. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.